Baby Carrot, you are my friend. Of course you are. I want to tell you something. You're going to have to hear it from me. When someone says I am buying altcoins, but they don't tell you which coin it is, they're going to tell you. When are they going to tell you that? They'll tell you when it's time for them to exit. That's when they'll tell you. All over Twitter, sometimes on YouTube, you're going to hear these influencers. You're going to hear these people who you think they're your friends when they're not. They will be saying, oh, I'm accumulating some bags I like here. Why don't they tell you the names? What's the excuse they're going to tell you? They're going to tell you, I don't want to tell you the names because I don't want to be accused of a shiller. That's a load of BS, okay? That's a load of freaking BS. The real reason is them and their friends are getting in and they're talking about it to you. They're like, oh, I've been looking for some stuff. So later on, if it goes up, they can get the exit. You know, when something is moving, friends, just to let you know, because you're a baby little baby kick, I'm just going to tell you, okay? Let's draw, let's draw an imaginary little chart here, okay? When something, let's say there's a pump and a dump, when it goes down, it's very hard to get to move because people don't actually want to buy bottoms. They don't want to buy bottoms at all. You need someone to come and thrust it up and then you can continue. But that's a lot of economic energy needed, that thrust. So instead, what these people do is, people, we can call them cockroach scum, is they want the chart to be doing this. And when it's here, now they can start to tell you about it. Why? Because you're able to give it the final flush up. And now they can exit. They go, woohoo, look at this. Remind you of anything? Isn't this like every parabola? And they're getting out. This is what they want to see. They're not going to tell you straight away. I'll tell you straight away. I will take losses on the chin because you know how tough this game is. You know, there are too many old coins, man. There's meme factories everywhere. There's just too many coins. We're all looking for the application layers, but then you realize everything's open source and the copy pasted anyway. So how do we navigate? Well, stick to strong core coins. You know, we take a long-term approach and you know, we're waiting. I'm also not going to lie to you and tell you, well, you know, maybe the coins you have, they're the ones you're just going to need forever. Probably not. Probably not. There might be new coins that appear in January and February that spark everybody's interest where we can't help but grab onto the narrative. Right now, we've got to do too much thinking because you're like, oh, my gosh, I don't see how this works. Well, that's why, you know, your your brain is computing it. You're like, this this feels weird because what's happening is you go, okay, you got a, well, you got a 1% win rate. Or even a 10% win rate. And you go, all right, well, of the stuff I win, they've got to be giving me at least 10 to 50x because I'm losing so much. But you're not. You know you're not. You know you're just buying the top of someone else's 3, 4, 5, or 15x because they got in in the, in the very, very, very early starts and they're dumping on you. That's why you've got to be careful. I'm going to pump some music for you very gently just to remind you. You are my friend. We are going to make it. All right. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And yes, this is Andre Ruggie. This picture right here, one of my favorite Peppy pictures. And I think it's <laughs> I think it's important to go back in time. I was just looking through this picture the other day, friends, just having a look at how it all happened to where we got the fake ETF approval. We did the pump and the dump. Just to like share with you the gyrations, the emotional cycle. This is why I always wondered, man, who on earth, who's selling these bottoms? How emotionally unstable are you? What is wrong with you, woman or man or squirrel or duck or pup? What's wrong with you? Now you know why. Look at this. this everyone's hanging off every word. I got asked, why did this move when it came out? Why was it so aggressive? The, I know, it, on the surface, you think, oh, because people think it's going up, so they bought it. No. The answer is because of leverage. It's because there are people with like, you know, a million dollars capital. So if they do a 10x long, they can sweep 10 million. Now, of course, it's very dangerous, right? Because you've got to take a tight loss. You can't be risking heaps. But I'll just give you an idea. Everybody's smacking leverage. And because everybody's smacking leverage in such a tight little range, it sweeps up. But when you're left with that, when you're left with the move, you only have the spot holders. If there's no new spot people in, guess what? the price doesn't continue up. You just get a zero-sum game. You get literally a transfer from people who bought and they sold, you know, they start selling and buying the top. That's it. You literally get a straight one-to-one -one transfer. And actually, it's negative, net negative, because there are fees that are involved as well that go to the exchanges. And I also thought it was very interesting that for 12 months, 
your friend here that you like, subscribe, belly button on, you shock the algorithm with this family friendly show. For 12 months, your friend has literally been saying that fake DeFi Uniswap is going to introduce KYC and betray us all. And I'm thinking, hmm, that's very interesting because as I recall it, one, they delist real DeFi hex. Two, they actually introduced KYC in the Univ4 hook. And of course, friends, don't listen. Don't listen to the soy boy cucks. They're saying, no, nah, it's optional. It's optional. No, nah, it's optional. Do you honestly think it's optional? How come I've been able to predict this to a T? Because you can see it happening. I can see the programming. I can see what the seasonal riders have put in for us. They're going to come and betray us in the next season, friends. I'm telling you, they're already doing it right now. It's warming up. They're doing a lot of things. If, if you took any of these incidences as isolated, fair enough. But when, you, when you're doing all of these, think about these. They did this in Hex. They've left other stuff. By the way, you don't have to like Hex. Sell it if you don't like it or get short. I don't really care. Go buy your other real DeFi stuff like, I don't know, Tron or Wrapped Bitcoin, whatever else you like. Who cares? So they've done that. They've got the Univ4 hooks. We know that Ethereum is not really politically neutral and independent, as they say they are, because they quick jumped the Uniswap upgrade on Ethereum, which is the EIP, and they've basically fast-tracked it to the very, very top. They basically jump through everybody else. They get to the top. I think that's weird. The centralized bug eater overlord guys are teaming up, it seems, to strangle crypto. That's what's happening, friends. That's what's happening. Did Uniswap get chosen or did they just walk in? It doesn't really matter at this point. They've also added that extra fee, literally urinating on uni token holders. Psst, just golden showering everywhere. No one is enjoying your golden shower. No one. This unicorn is dead. Metaphorically, this is exactly what's happening. You know what's happening. No one's even denying it anymore. We're like, ah. Oh. I guess this is how it's going to play out, you know? So we're not even complaining. This is a lot of people. You understand it, friends. I know everyone here, you understand. This is this is fuel for our bags. You know that, right? This is fuel. The worst case would be uni just takes over and wins because that means the rest of the cities don't get to flourish. I had a big portfolio weight in uni because I thought they were going to do the right thing in 2021. And unfortunately, to my disappointment, they completely disappointed, completely backstabbed, and now we've had to adapt to the new conditions. So I want to throw out this friendly reminder, right? Know the difference, friends. Make sure you know the difference between real DeFi and fake DeFi. Pulse Chain, real DeFi. Uniswap is fake DeFi. Look what fake DeFi believes in, okay? <laughs> fake DeFi, they don't want you to move your money around. They don't want you to do it. They go, oh, you don't have KYC? You're probably from Iran. Oh, you could be from Mars. Look at you. Look at you, you're a legal launderer, you know? Look at you moving your money around your $47 transacting baby doll. That's what they're trying to do. Don't call us baby dolls. You're a fake DeFi, all right? We're not your baby dolls. They also don't believe in free speech. They believe in adding middlemen. Trading not available. You can't trade this token through the Uniswap app. That's what's happening. That's what's happening in front of their eyes, not even guessing. What's real DeFi let you do? Real DeFi, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, real DeFi. And crypto removing middlemen. That's the whole reason it was invented, friends. The only reason the banks make so much money is because they're middlemen. If you remove the middlemen, then those value and those fees can go around to all the holders of the network. Doesn't that make sense? It does make sense. You know, we're going to have to pump pump a bit more music just to get everybody. You know, we've got to be on board here. We know what's going on, friends. You understand the game now. We're going to crank it. We're cranking it together. Friendly reminder as well. Okay, I've posted this many times. And I love it. All right, why? Well, because I made it. I made it. Remember that real DeFi is what we can account on. All of us can count on it. We're even lucky real DeFi works. Fake DeFi will make us empty promises and they don't last. Fake DeFi Uniswap is an example of fake DeFi. At the very top. Fake DeFi. Luna UST. Look, it was a noble try. Unfortunately, it was fake DeFi. Why? It now goes stablecoin. You just said it's a dollar. Why? Because you tell me it's a dollar. No, it's up to the free market. Unfortunately, it couldn't hold itself. You also have Celsius, which was fake DeFi because it introduced middlemen. It's just, it was just fake, fake, fake everywhere, okay? You also have fake DeFi Uniswap at the bottom. Very, very obvious reasons fake DeFi Uniswap is fake DeFi, okay? Leading decentralized crypto trading. I don't think so. You know what's happening, friends. We know what's going on. You already know how it's all going to play out. So as we traverse the universe of crypto, 
we all come back down to the fact that everybody is here for number go up. Everybody wants to get rich. Yes, they do. But we know the secret to markets is positioning. So you're thinking, all right, there's a pool of people. We're all trying to speculate on the future. And I don't want to get caught with my pants down with everybody else. So what do we do? Well, we have to see what is happening with everybody else in the game. What are they holding? What are they doing? Well, I've told you right now, they all believe in Bitcoin and Ethereum as the blue chip savior, which is going to help them retire. And there's a bit of an asterisk there. You know, little asterisk friends where you say you got to read the fine print. The fine print is if Bitcoin helps you retire, it sure ain't as hell in less than seven years. But, you know, they don't want to believe that. Of course, you don't want to believe that because you're like, you're, that means you're telling me that with all these money printing and all these jizz jazz up down their fry, all these backhands, all these hula hoops, you're telling me that Bitcoin's not going to hit three or $400,000 in the next cycle. We're diminishing gains, friends. Mr. Guido made this lovely comic in the top left. I finally found it after 15 years. The scroll of truth. Bitcoin gains are diminishing. Yeah. Look at this, just throwing it out. I'm telling you. That's it. You know it is. How can we deny it? <laughs> no, I'll do this a lot, friends. I'm just, I, don't, I don't care. You're going to get it through your head because I had to do this every single day, eight times a day. I was repping this. You did your 20,000x, then a 600, down a 100, down a 20. You can see that these numbers are getting lower. They're getting smaller. It's getting harder and harder to push up. It makes sense. What's the next one going to be? Maybe a 5x. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Sure as hell ain't going to be a 20x. Not even close to 20x. I hope it is. But it's just like even if you divide it by 2, even if you divide the 10, 20x by 2, you're going to be doing a 10x from 15,700, which is 150k. So you already know that's pushing the limit. And you might say, well, you're just doing fancy mathematical stuff on the chart. And what if the formulas are wrong? Yes, I hope they're wrong. Every day I wake up and I hope they're wrong. I hope that we get the 30% chance of the friendship scenario. But unfortunately, right now, 70% chance of the poopy scenario, the Rocco Negra scam. We're going to see how this plays out, friends. Of course, make sure you remember who your real friends are. All, all of us are looking after each other. Real DeFi is going to remove all the middleman and hopefully give us some sick gains in the future. Tell mom and dad you do love and appreciate him. I'm going to catch you in the next one.